begin with a troubling incident of bullying. It happened at a North Vancouver high school and it was over four decades ago. But the actions have tortured one man ever since and he's never received an apology. But as Susanna De Silva explains, he's finally getting one tonight. High school is not a time Robin Tomlin remembers fondly. The skinny Argyle secondary student was a constant target. Bump me in the hallway and call me the F word and push me around to a point where in grade 11, it's even in the annual there, I had the most late slips that year of anybody because it was pretty scary going down the hallways. As the end of grade 12 approached and what he hoped would be an end to the relentless bullying, he opened his yearbook to find the cruelty was now recorded forever in print. I had my picture instead of the stuff I wanted to put beside your grab picture. It was typed in there, it was edited, it was proofread, it was published, it said fag. He says that was a dangerous label in 1970. There was bashings, they were killed, so I was afraid, ashamed, and kept it quiet. But he didn't forget. He skipped grad because of it, and when Tomlin married, he decided he and his wife had to move away, that the Lower Mainland was not a place he wanted to raise his children. In the end, it was his daughter who found the yearbook and reopened the wound. She was shocked. She was humiliated and ashamed, too. Then as he began sharing his story, he learned he may soon need a liver transplant and decided it was finally time he got an apology. That started a back and forth with the school district that has lasted years. A communication from the school district uh, today expressly stated that we are sorry. I want a face-to-face -face and a legitimate, honest apology. That's all. I don't want to sue them. I don't want a million dollars. I just want an apology. He hopes by fighting for this even 42 years later, it will send a message to kids being bullied today to stand up for themselves. Susanna De Silva, CBC News, Vancouver.